Hey guys, so this week I've been swashbuckling and dealing with a serious case of syphilis in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, which if you don't know, is a pirate game set in the Assassin's Creed universe, so it involves a lot of ship battles and stuff, but is it any good? Well, here's my opinion. Assassin's Creed 4 is a bit of a departure from the franchise in terms of the story. In the game, you play as a video game developer playing through the memories of an old pirate in order to construct a video game. I know, it's very meta. And the memories you're playing through are not of some great assassin who fought to change the world, you're just playing as some pirate named Edward Kenway. Ugh, and finally, a video game where you play as a white guy for a change, am I right? What makes Edward Kenway an interesting choice as a protagonist is because he's not a member of the League of Assassins, he's just kind of a pirate who just wants to become rich. That's his only motivation, so he doesn't care about the war against the Templars, he's really just in it for himself. At least, that's how it starts out. If you've played the last Assassin's Creed game, then you know what to expect. You sneak around a town, and you kill people as quietly as possible, you hide in hay bales and stuff. And all of that's in this game and will feel incredibly familiar. But what's different this time around is the focus on ship-based combat that was only kind of a series of side quests in the last game. The world of Assassin's Creed 4 is set in the West Indies during the pirate time, so you'll spend a lot of time sailing from island to island, listening to your crew sing sea shanties. There's also a heavy focus on naval combat in this game, so you'll spend your time in between missions upgrading your ship's guns and its armor and its crew complement. Not only do the upgrades cost money, but they also cost resources like wood and metal. And because this is a game about pirates, there's really only one way to gather these resources. PLUNDER! You take your ship out on the high seas, find vulnerable ships filled with lots of cargo, and then you take it from them. This feature of the game is what really makes it stand out to me. There's just something purely enjoyable about blasting a ship away with your cannons and then running alongside of it and boarding it and then killing all the crew and taking all their stuff. Or if you don't feel like doing that, or just have an aversion to piracy, you can always pay Ubisoft real-life money for these resources. Haha, <laughs> microtransactions are great! The rest of the game is your standard Assassin's Creed fare. There are a bunch of missions where you have to eavesdrop on people, or find the right guy to kill, or just kill a bunch of people, or don't kill anybody. And the story moves along with a lot of really interesting twists and turns, and a lot of really cool characters straight out of history. Most of the weapons are pretty much the same as the last game, with the exception of the blow darts and the ability to carry up to four guns at one time. There's also many different side missions that you can take part in. The two new ones are fort takeovers, where you capture a fort and then you get a section of the ocean that's yours, and the diving areas that let you search for sunken treasure throughout the sea. My only real problem with the side missions is that if you're not doing a lot of them, then you're probably not upgrading your ship a lot. Which can lead to many moments in the story campaign where you'll be up against other ships that are far more powerful than you because you haven't taken the time to upgrade your ship. Along with the rather extensive single player campaign, there's also multiplayer. From what I've played, it seems like pretty much the same stuff from the last game, where you can either team up with a bunch of people to try and assassinate all your targets at once, or try and assassinate real people. The Assassin's Creed games have a habit of not really innovating and just piling on more features on top of the same game from the last time around, and this game really is no different. That being said, there's something about the whole pirate motif and the ships and all of this stuff in this package that really draws me in. This game is really good, all things considered. If you're looking for a really solid pirate game with like high seas action and sea shanties, or you're just a fan of the Assassin's Creed universe and that series of games, then you should probably pick this up. Yar, you dirty bills, right? You best be like it and favorite in this video and sharing it on Facebook and all this stuff. Otherwise, you be hurting my feelings.